Hi, I'm Sam Jackson from KO Pies, and today I'm going to cook for you my take on an Australian uh, pie filling, which is a butternut squash and chickpea filling. First, we're going to heat our wok for about five minutes until it's nice and hot. We're going to remove the lid, and then we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil to the wok. We're now going to add half an onion that's been finely diced to the wok as well as one stalk of celery that's been finely diced. So we cook that out for about five or six minutes until soft and translucent. We're now going to add one clove of garlic that's been finely crushed. So we're going to give that a stir. We give that about 30 seconds. We're now going to add half a cup of white wine to the wok. So we're going to let that bubble away until it's virtually all evaporated. Now our wine's virtually all reduced, we're going to add half a cup of chickpeas to the wok. Along with the chickpeas, we're now going to add a cup and a half of vegetable stock to the wok. So now we've got everything in the wok, we're going to add the final piece here, which is the butternut squash cut into a half inch dice. We're going to add that to the wok. We're going to stir it a little bit, and then we're going to let the thing simmer for about 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes. The squash is cooked. I'm now going to transfer it to a bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of thyme and season it with salt and pepper. Mix it up well. And then we're going to set it aside until it's cool so we can then fill it in our little pies. So our pie filling is made. It's chilled as far as pastry goes. First is a homemade shortcrust pastry here that I've already rolled out myself and I've cut it. I've cut it using the larger of the two dough cutters that comes with the machine. For the top, I'm using a store-bought puff pastry that we use the smaller of the two cutters, which is for the top. So now we're going to spoon in about two ounces of filling into each pie. Try and mix a little bit of everything in there so we get a nice combination of the flavours. So now we're going to put the tops on. These should be ready in eight minutes. So it's been eight minutes. Everything smells great. They look fantastic. It's now time to take the pies out of the maker. So gently with a non-stick spatula, take them out and plate them up. And so there you have it. Butternut squash and chickpea take on an Australian meat pie recipe.